That's expected of a troll player, right? In these highlights, a lot of the time you're seeing that this poor man is getting like dogged on by everyone in RR Cube just because he exists, just because he's in that front line. But then you want to recognize that if he lands a good kick on the Sutsujin, everything in these neutral objectives just goes crashing down. Yeah, that's how the troll works. Find the player target, kick him back, and with the damage available to the side of, uh, of Team Liquid in the early game, in theory, they should be the stealing one, but even from the early levels, from the first turtle fight, you're seeing a decent amount of damage coming out of this composition, partially due to the aggressive rover, the troll has decent damage, so a lot of these, you know, non carry roles from Team Liquid can actually help out in the fight, and because of that, a lot of these fights really look to be so even until the final moment where one single turn of events can really throw everything in favor of Team Ribbon and RRQ, well, even surely we're getting all these fights so, so close, but enough is just never enough in a situation like this. Yeah, just they couldn't find the finisher, unfortunately. I mean, we, we, we already saw the closest fight they had, which is by the Lord Pit, and it was 2v2 at that point after everybody, it was all said and done. But even so, once they have the items, once they have that 10k gold lead against them with missing inhibitors and the Lord pushing, that's the checkmate angle. I don't see any way they botch this up unless they start running into the yeah. And Aaron Chiki, he just was delivering everything into the very eyes of the kingdom and of course now back to what we talked about the Beatrice and Franco do you think that would be a better pick instead of the 1-1 one -one? or maybe they could have gone like a Claude and then with a plus one maybe with a Ruby uh, hmm. well we me, me and Arashi were discussing this prior to it right I for me personally I think that in that very first phase it's really hard to predict what was the next thing that TL uh, that TL ID wanted to do because at most you only really saw, oh hey, they want, uh, they have a Yeve. All right, sure. Oh, they end up uh, picking up, they end up picking up. Uh, oh, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. And then the second phase comes by. Phobius was to be expected, and I think that the main issue, yes, Wan Wan, it could have been the Beatrix, it could have been the carry. There's there's a significant lack of damage coming out from the side of RRQ. That's why you're seeing them actually survive with just minimal HP most of the time, and they don't have any access to the back line anyways. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I was going at with this, because I saw the Alpha come up, and I was certain I saw the Yeve come up. Oh. Swiss is gonna go for an assassin, right? It makes sense, it kinda ruins the front to back, but they didn't go for that. You know, and we've seen that they have it as an option, and to that to that point, Gideon, I mean that's really accurate. The EXP lane needs time to do damage here because now we have to present to you the MVP presented by the official tournament smartphone, Samsung Galaxy S24 FE. It is witty. This guy, the storyline is insane. He benches Yaoi, known for that Cho M4 skin, and now he is possibly one of the best rovers we have in Indonesia, and his troll was spectacular. His troll was, his troll was all right, I'll, I'll give it to him. I don't think he really got to show like much of like what he's truly capable of. He did get some priority targets, I will.